Okay, compliance um, is talking about the Personal Information Data Breach Act, which is 201 CMR 17. The reason it's so important is because things get breached all the time, that information gets taken, and then then all of a sudden your credit reports go crazy because someone's using your information incorrectly or illegally. So <clears throat> you're required if you have the information of a resident of Massachusetts, if you maintain that information like an employee, employee's information, you're required to be in compliance with 201 CMR 17 and um, that requires that you have a written information security program and that written information security program is what starts off how you become compliant. Uh, we have a lot of clients, a lot of prospects that are calling us these days that are asking that they need to be put in compliance because the people that they're working with, the corporations that they're working with, are asking them, are you in compliance? Are you protecting that personal information? It's big news. It can, can be a pain, but it doesn't have to be overdone. Basically, you've got to look at your organization, you've got to find out where that personal information resides, and then you've got to take steps to protect it and you've got to write it all down and then adhere to what you've written down. Okay, so what, what does that mean to a typical uh, ignorant technology boob like myself? What do I need to do, if anything? Because I probably would hear the story and go, oh, this is really important and go back to just doing things as usual. Right, well, the one thing you want to make sure is that you've, that you've taken the time to either yourself or bring in a third party, like my company, where we come in and we do a checklist, very quick, three-page checklist to find out where that personal information resides. Probably on the server, could be on laptops, could be on things like that. On phones. On phones, etc. And then we got to find a way to protect it and make sure that if it is on the phone, the phone's encrypted. Make sure that it is on a, on a laptop, that the hard drive of that laptop's encrypted. Because if the laptop, even though you can't get into the laptop because of because of the passwords, if you open up the laptop and take the hard drive out and it's not encrypted, you could read everything. So it's important to encrypt that hard drive if wow. it has personal information on it. So these guys who are repairing your laptops get, get all your information. Or these guys stealing your laptops, absolutely. They can right. take that information. And the, and the thing is, is if it's encrypted, it's useless to anyone. And if you lose someone's personal information, if it's deemed that your company or you lost it, then you can be held liable. I mean, you can get a penalty of $5,000 from the Attorney General's office, and it could set you up for, for liability suits. Wow. So it, it's important. And people have been con con convicted of these things. People, there, been, there was a restaurant in, in the New England area that was had seven restaurants in Massachusetts that was using the swipe for the cards to charge people, and they found out that it was infected. That it was actually taking that information and sending it to the middies, you know, you know, to some rogue place and. They didn't get written up and fined for that. They got written up and fined for is the fact that they didn't do anything about it. Oh. That they continued to charge people's credit cards using that same device without changing it out and admitting that that had happened. So they, they got a pretty big fine. They ended up shutting down.